The seven from the boys reminds me of K-pop groups. Okay, I know I'm stretching a bit, but by the end you'll see what I'm talking about. K-pop has blown up into an international phenomenon. You could ask some illiterate homeless man in the Sahara who his favorite K-pop group is, and he'll turn around and say BTS in a heartbeat. But to achieve this level of success, K-pop groups had to corporatize heavily. K-pop members' contracts can be insane. Some last almost a decade and force members to live exactly how the managers want them to live. They have to have very specific sleep schedules, look a certain way, and famously aren't allowed to date anyone. On top of that, the contracts heavily favored the agency when it comes to earnings. And trainees can be as young as 11. Sound familiar? Now to be fair, K-pop isn't killing people, at least not directly. But it says a lot that fictional dystopian superhero groups have it better off than K-pop members. The Seven is supposed to be a satire of the Justice League, but Justice League members don't have contracts. And the only higher authority is Batman since he pays for everything. But Batman doesn't compare to Vought. Plus, Justice League isn't real. K-pop is. And it's kind of worrying that 